So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to unbox and set up the HP DeskJet 3755. However, this setup video also applies to any HP DeskJet 3700 series printer. So let's go ahead, get it out of the box and start setting it up. And if you're looking to buy one of these printers, I'll leave a link right below the video. So feel free to check that out. So I've opened the box up. Let's see what's inside. You have the power cable, the black and tricolor cartridges, the manuals and all the other pieces of paperwork. And then let's remove this cardboard shelf on the inside. Now the easiest way to get these printers out of their boxes is to lay the box on one of its larger rectangular sides and then pull the printer out onto the table. And now you want to get rid of the foam end caps and the thin plastic film covering the printer. So the first step in the process is to plug the power cable into the back of the printer and then plug the other end into a wall outlet. Press the power button which is on the top left hand side of the printer and the printer then powers on and goes through its initial booting sequence. And once it's done with that initial booting sequence you'll notice that the power button is blinking and that's fine. And the next step is is to install the cartridges. Open this compartment on the front and you'll notice that the cartridge tray slides into view. Now I've removed both cartridges from their outer packaging. You also want to remove this piece of protective tape on the print head by pulling on this paper with the HP logo. Do that for both cartridges. And then let's start with the tricolor cartridge. Insert it into the cartridge tray with the electrical contacts facing inwards and push it in to lock it into place. And let's do the same with the black cartridge. Again, with the electrical contacts and the print head facing inwards, insert it into the tray and push it all the way in until it locks into place. Now you can close this compartment and once you've done this you'll notice that the power button is not blinking anymore. Next let's load some paper in the printer. To do that pull the paper tray upwards and then slant it backwards and then I'm going to insert some letter sized paper into the paper tray. Pull this flap forward and then slide the adjustable paper guide all the way to the left then insert your paper into the paper tray and slide your paper guide slightly inwards to match the size of your paper. Now, as with a lot of more recent HP printers, the DeskJet 3755 does not have many controls on the front and there's very little setup that you can do on the printer itself. To set the printer up using your iPhone, the first step is to go into your app store and search for HP Smart. And once you find it, tap get to begin downloading and installing it. And and once it's installed, tap open. It then asks you to agree to the terms and conditions. Tap continue. And then it asks you whether you'd like to share data with HP Smart. I'm not going to do this for now. I'm just going to tap no. And then it asks you whether you'd like to set up a new printer or sign in. I'm going to do neither. I'm just going to tap skip for now. And then it asks you for permission to find devices on your local network. Tap OK. And once the home page of the app opens up, you want to tap add your first printer. And then it asks to use Bluetooth on your device. Tap OK. And you'll notice that it's already found the printer that we're looking to add. And then tap the add printer button all the way up top. And then tap set up as a new printer. And it now asks you to select the Wi-Fi network that you'd like to connect the printer too. I'm going to select mine. Again, this has to be the 2.4 gigahertz network. So tap that and enter the password for that network and then tap continue. And then it says that the printer is found and it configures it and sets it up on the network. And then it says that you should go into your Wi-Fi settings and change your Wi-Fi network back to your personal Wi-Fi network. So let's go back into our Wi-Fi settings and you can actually see that the Wi-Fi network currently selected is the HP setup network, which it selected on its own. I'm going to connect to my Wi Fi network, or rather the Wi Fi network to which this printer is connected. Okay, so I'm connected to my Wi Fi network, my home Wi Fi network, and I'm going to jump back into the app and then on the next page, tap continue and then tap continue again. And it asks you whether you'd like to sign into your account or create a new HP account. I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in, but if you don't have one, I really recommend creating a new account and once you're signed in it takes you back into the app then it gives you a few messages about HP 
Instant Ink. And since I don't plan to sign up for HP Instant Ink, I'm just gonna tap do not enable ink savings. And then it lets you know that you're ready to print from this mobile device. And you can print a test page if you'd like to. I'm just gonna tap skip printing page. It then lets you know that you can print from other devices and that it can send you a link to do this. I'm gonna skip this step. Then it asks me whether I'm sure and yes, I am sure. And then it lets me know that the setup is complete. Tap all done. And when you go back to the home page of the app, you should see the HP DeskJet 3700 series and you should see that it is ready. And this indicates that it is now installed. And this brings us to the end of the unboxing and setup of the HP DeskJet 3755. And if you're looking to buy one of these, I'll leave a link right below the video. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews, unboxings, and how-to videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.